Hello everybody, The Open here, playing my Hardcore Dwarf. She's level 12, still going. This is, uh, this is a record for me, at least for the past few characters, because I've been getting killed at around level 11. I think the furthest I've gotten in Hardcore, official Hardcore, is 17. My priest, that I just kind of mess around with um, and I don't record that character but um, all of the recordings I've made they've been killed pretty quick of all of the hardcore classes that I've tried hunter has been uh, this is the third hunter I've made but you know I still have one hunter still alive because technically my first hunter was in the unofficial hardcore well met Ah, uh, these are nice bandanas, if a little rough. Here you are! I don't well. carry any more. Oh boy. You need something? I'm gonna have to drop something out of my bags just to take this crap. What am I gonna drop? I kind of want that bow. I want to learn the bow. I don't want to just run around with a gun the whole time. Light be with you. Ah, uh, these are nice bandanas, if a little rough. Here you are! Spiffy with the red shirt. Alright, I need to sell badly. I think I could sell over here. I just make a level? I think I just got level 13 from that. Yeah, I did. Let me see what the... The spec is marksmanship, I believe. Yeah. And then marksmanship. I've put my first two points in efficiency. Which reduces amount of cost of my shots and stings by 4%. This would be 6 if I stick with this. Why not? I'm not using any guides for this. I'm using guides for my Season of Discovery Shaman. Which I have been undecided on where I want to go in Phase 2. If I want to go Restoration or Enhance. Still thinking about it. can't use swords, but I might want to hang on to this and learn swords. I have 73 silver. How much does it cost to learn a weapon skill? I think it costs 10 silver. This well-used sword, not as good as the other one. The other one's magic. I'm going to keep that anyway. All right, I've got some places now free in my inventory, at least. I think I'm done with everything on this side of Elwyn. Oh, so this character I've done... Um, the Dwarf starting area. Um, Karanos. Haven't gone to Dunmoreau yet. I've come over to Elwyn to do this starting area, which I think I'm almost done with. This stuff here, I have to complete, so all the stuff to the west. I'm going to do these. Maybe it'll get me to the level 14. Then I go either to Westfall or back to the snowy mountains and the lakes. I think that's what I'll do. I'll go back and forth.
I need to train my pet. I haven't trained him in a while. I don't think I've been to the pet trainer yet. But I haven't had any issues in combat. He holds aggro. I shoot him dead. I was playing EverQuest 2 over the past couple of days and I've noticed that that was my game. Uh, back in the time when these games were new, EverQuest came out a couple of weeks before this and uh, I played EverQuest even after this came out. I played EverQuest and I bought this when it, you know on day one and um, I think I installed it and tried it but I just went right back to EverQuest 2. And I noticed that the leveling, at least now in the retail game, is is pretty, I don't know if you call it streamlined, but you don't have to run around as much as you do here. Maybe the zones are not as big as this, or maybe they are, but they're focused in certain areas. And they give you quests and you just stick around a certain area and do the quests, to come back to hand them in, and they give you a few more quests that are in the same area. and. Uh, I haven't even gotten to Halas yet. Um, I've gotten out of the, like the tutorial area and I went into, what is it, Frostfang Sea or something like that? With a Barbarian and I'm level 18, I'm not even done with those quests. I hear that the Agnostic Dungeons are the place to be to get the experience, but I'm playing through more for the story and uh, I want to see the different zones. I played EverQuest 2 for years and Antonica was really always the, my starting place. I had a main character I played mostly, a ranger. I think I tried some in, an enchanter and some other classes, but they would always be based around Kinos and Antonica. This time I tried something a little different, and it's fun. The one thing I do notice, though, when I come back to World of Warcraft is how much nicer this game looks how much nicer the UI is, how much better the systems are. I mean, it is a better game. Greetings. I mean, you could argue it. I mean, I love them both. You can argue that this is the better game. And looking at history, I mean, people have kind of spoken with what they play and the numbers of subscribers and this and that. This is the better game. Do I want to go straight? I don't, I don't get any... No, I don't get anything to learn at 13. I think at 14 I do. But do I want to see the pet trainer? Isn't there one right here? How are you? That's a stable master. Loyalty level 5. He's faithful. It costs 5 silver to stable this pet. I don't know if that's worth it, is it? What is over in Westfall? I want a cat. Westfall doesn't really have cats. They have them over... In, like, by Karanos, but that's, um... They'll be low level. But I guess I could level them up. Uh, let's keep have this guy one. for a little while longer. Look at my quests. Uh, let's see. Princess, I have to hand in. All these things I have to hand in on the way out to Westfall. So let's just keep going that way. Gotta be careful. Once I get into Westfall, I gotta be careful. And also in um it's not it's not Dunmoreau. I said Dunmoreau, but it's not. Dunmoreau is where the dwarf starting areas are. It's uh Lachmodan is what I'm talking about. Well this is what I meant. Lachmodan has some camps that with roaming mobs that can be dangerous. 
even if even if you're a few levels above them, I've struggled where I pull one, I pull two, and I'm okay. Then one would be like just roaming around and add. And by the time I know it, I've got a whole camp running after me. All right. Uh, oh, I almost went past Ma Stonefield. I have to go down to Stonefield Farm here. This is for Princess. I beat Princess all by myself. Well, not really, because I got the, the pig here. Ferndale had a hand in it. Oh, I got her. Thank goodness. That pig was getting so big she'd have eaten our whole crop. Thank you, adventurer. Now, do either of these suit you? I'll take the weather-worn boots, thank you. See you around. I can equip these and possibly put an armor kit on them. The armor is only two better. I'll put this armor kit on there. And I'll sell the stuff I'm not using to Homer. Homer Stonefield. Hello, Homer. Supply only the Would you like to buy my used boots? There you go. You know, I'm going to sell the bow. Because if I learn bow, I'm going to buy a better one than that. Safe travel. Uh, now we're back to the road and then into Western Elwyn. Where I think I'm going to be killing... Are they... They're not kobolds, right? What are they? Um, yeah, they're kobolds. And hogger. Slay the Knoll Hogger and bring his huge Knoll Claw to Marshal Dugan. I'm getting used to the immersion add-on. I like it. I did it mostly because when I bring up the old quest thing, I have sharpening on. I, I adjusted my video card to, do, to uh, use its features where it sharpens and, and when available upscales. But when that happens, it sort of, gray, like it looks grainy. I don't know, it, it doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look as nice as it did before I made that change. Everything else is much better, but that part I could do without. So I decided on the I immersion. I can't believe the oh, officials okay. in Stormwind sending the bulk of our army abroad when our home front is under so much pressure. With thieves coming from Westfall and gnolls encroaching from, from the east and west, it's a wonder Stormwind itself isn't besieged. Uh, Westbrook Garrison needs my help. Marshal Dugan sent you, huh? Well, you're not from the army, but if Dugan sent you, then that's good enough for me. Our situation is, to say the least, a stressed one. I hope you can give us a hand. I certainly can. Knolls, brutish creatures with no decent business in these lands, have been seen along the borders of Elwyn Forest. Knolls. A large pack of them, many more than we can handle alone, have infested the woods south of the guard tower yonder. Another group has infested the areas near Stone Cairn Lake to the east. The Stormwind Army will commend whomever helps kill them. Bring me their painted knoll armbands as proof of your deed. All right, they're gnolls, they are not kobolds. Did I get all of the quests? I think I did. Now this could take a while, depending on how many players are up here. In Season of Discovery, there were a lot of players up here doing this, and it took me quite a while to do. Uh, but here I want to be a little careful, because well, these guys are only level 9, but I don't want it, my uh, hardcore run to end here. I do have to feed my pig. We'll give him a... Does he eat jerky? Did you like that, Ferndale? 
Not sure if he liked that. Oh, he liked it. Alright, go get that knoll. Well, that was pretty easy. I was looking at my phone while auto attacking and watching uh, my pet do all the work. Go, 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 go. That's going to be how I die when I'm looking at my phone. So the trick is, I mean, I'm sure most players know this, most hunter players know this. But when you're overleveled and you're getting attacked by another ad or um, something that you weren't expecting, don't touch it. Let it attack you until your pet and you kill off whatever you were attacking originally. And then your pet will come and, and start fighting it and take the aggro and then you can go away and bandage or drink a potion, or sit down and rest, or just start firing, like, like I did, and kill the darn thing. Once you whack it and gain aggro, it's just going to keep attacking you. This is the sweet spot right here where they roam around in singles. I'm not sure if I want to mess around with the camps. This guy is sort of on the fringe of the camp. I'll take him. I meant to shoot him before my pet went in because he's, I don't want him to be too close to the camp and draw the attention of his buddies. And I won't let him run away. I'll hit him with a concussive shot so he won't go anywhere. But see, I'll, I'll mark him. I'll shoot him before I give the uh, order to attack, and now I'll give the order to attack. The problem with that is I'm going to get aggro. See, now he'll keep coming at me. And I'm going to do more damage than my pet, so now I have to kite a little bit. I don't want to get hit. I think that might be the advantage of getting a cat or some other pet that does more damage. They may not be as tanky, but they'll do more damage, and I'd be able to use that tactic a little bit better, probably. If there's room and nobody else around and I send the pig in, he hits a couple times and I start a shooting and he keeps aggro mostly. It's only after a few shots that he'll come after. Yeah, now he'll come after me. But by this time, he is already dead. Like he, They never get to me. This is, again, I'm three or four levels above these guys. So this is easy mode. And I don't mind that in hardcore. This is honestly how the, the questing is in retail. It's just so easy because everything is scaled to you, uh, which I, I decided I do not like. I've been playing retail less and less because of that. These guys are what? Level 9s? That's a level 10. That's a level 8. Well, this guy... I think I could take these now. But why try? See, that's the mentality I got to get away from. It would be fun to try, but it would be s terrible to die. So I'm not going to try it. I'm just going to come over here and find a single. I haven't used my axe in a while. I'm sure my defense is suffering too. Hogger, sure. Somebody wants Hogger, I'll join. Yeah, my defense is, um, where is it? 
54 to 65 is not great. Axe is 55 out of 65. They can't join our group. Does a hunter pet take some of the experience away, like uh, EverQuest pets do? Uh, that's a question I'd like to know, because now that I'm in a group of two other people, I would dismiss my pet if that's the case. It looks like this hunter's got his pet. Still need five painted armbands. This is a level 8, level 9, and a level 9. Um, well, you only live once, and there are others here, so these gnolls are contested, so let's just do this. We kill this guy first, send the pet in. He's dead. at half health. I'm at three quarter health. I'm okay. When Ferndale dies, I'm in trouble. This was actually four nulls. There was an ad. Somewhere along the way, somebody walked over and started joining the fight here. But this guy, see, I hit him a few times. This is what I was saying before. He was on me the whole way because I started to attack him and I hit him a bunch of times. I couldn't get the aggro off. So I can kill a camp at level 13. There's four of them here a 10, an 8, a 9, an 8.
hard to see my dwarf with all her natural colors and I've got all the detail cranked up so you see like all the weeds and flowers and everything and she's short so she kind of doesn't even clear the tops of the grass there I should keep an eye on my ammo got 356 left Once I hit him with that arcane shot and Serpent's thing has been on for a few seconds, they come right after me. Where are these armbands? See, this is what I mean. This quest sometimes can take a while. It's like the boar quest in uh, outside of Anvilmar. There's one. I need three more. I really should be working on my defense. I'm gonna I'm gonna regret it if I don't. Like this fellow here. He regretted not working on his defense. I'm gonna go for these three. Heads up, Ferndale, I got your back. Looks like a warrior helped out and took one of them. Alright, two more armbands. And I've got four in this camp. Where's that warrior? Okay, let's do it because the warrior might might help. Let's see. Go, 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 Ferndale. This will help with my defense. This, this guy wails on me. Hang tough, Ferndale. You'll be alright. You almost got this guy. Nice. for auto shot, do you? Oh, 
Oh, out of all those knolls, not a single armband. Let's drink some water. Can you assist your pet? That's another question that Mike answered. Because right there I didn't see which one he was attacking. One more armband. Maybe this guy has it. He does. I have to go back to Goldshire to hand in Hogger. Where am I bound? In Goldshire, that works out. The experience is not great. I think I'm too high now for this area. But I'm getting out. Once I hand in these quests, I'm going to go back to... Um, Lakmodan. Greetings. I can't believe the officials in Stormwind, sending the bulk of our army abroad, when our home front is under so much pressure. With thieves coming from Westfall and nulls encroaching from the east and west, it's a wonder Stormwind itself hasn't been isn't besieged. Be careful. Well met. Oh. Light bless you. I've been killing gnolls, all right. I see you've been busy. You have our thanks, adventurer. Go with honor, friend. All right, um, hearth to Goldshire. Yes, Hagar has been a real pain for me and my men. You have something to report about the beast? Ha, ah, well done. I was starting to think no one would take down that monster. Here you are, adventurer. And thanks that Noel was giving me a headache the size of Blackrock Spire. Another new piece of equipment. This is the Footman Tunic. Much better than what I have right now. As far as armor... Oh yeah, no, it is giving me agility and stamina, too. I'll wear that, and I'll put an armor kit on it. Nice. Okay, I've got to go up to Stormwind. And I've got to go over to the Deep Run Tram. I think what I'll do is I'll just do this walking and pause the recording. And when I get to um, Lakmodan, I'll pick it back up. Oh, I'm back here in Stormwind. I figured I'd uh, get back on recording because I'm going to look at the Have you come the seeking training train in the here. ways of armed combat? All right, crossbows. Crossbows. There are crossbows. I kind of want a crossbow. And one-handed swords. 
I might regret spending this money because Careful. I think I'm going to need it for my skills, my my abilities, but I'll just earn it back. Alright, could I uh, buy a crossbow now? Weapons. Would it be under bows? Long bow, short bow, siege bow. I don't think so. Guns? Well, these are just guns. Crossbows. Uh, let's just do level, I don't know, 10 through 13. Um, 8 through 13. Our crossbows are probably a really high level. Yeah. Let's just reset that. Uh, weapon, crossbow. Level. No, that's a level 3 there. For 25 silver, I don't think so. But let's see the damage. Oh, 6 to 7 damage. It, it does only a little bit more damage than my gun, but the minimum damage is much better. Much better. In a few more levels, I can get a fine light crossbow. I must be able to find these as drops somewhere. I'm not going to buy one for now. Uh, but I did learn swords, and I have a notched short sword of stamina. It's better than my axe, and it gives me a stamina, so I can equip that. Cool. What would I carry in my offhand? Is that a thing? Could, could a hunter carry a shield? I don't think I know shields. I'd have to learn it. All right, well, that, well, maybe a bow. I don't know bows yet, but I should look at one, I guess, while I'm here. I would want a level 14 bow. This is cheap for five silver. Five to ten damage. It's not great. This is probably the default bow. A fine short bow is much better, 7 to 14 damage, but it's um, a lot of silver. Wow, look at the laminated recurve. For level 11 it does 10 to 20 damage, and then the hunting bow is 8 to 16. I could use these now once I learn bows. 10 to 20, they're the same, heavy short bow. Laminated recurve bow. Hunting bow is 8 to 16. I kind of want the 10 to 20, so a heavy short bow would be with a recurve bow. The speed is better. Is speed. Is the lower speed number better or higher? I think lower because the damage per second is better on a heavy short bow. Okay, I'm not going to buy it yet because I don't even know how to use bows. Alright, back on my way to the tram. I can go through here, go north, and then into the Dwarven Quarter and into the train. I think I did something wrong.
Here's the deep run tram. Luckily, the trains come pretty quickly. There's hardly ever a wait for the train. Shimmer Stout. Take the barrel of Shimmer Stout to Mountaineer Bali Brew. That's the only quest I have. It's a Dunmaro quest, but I believe he's in Makmodong, isn't he? Or get the Southern Guard Tower. Yeah, one of the two towers on the border to Lakmodan. And then once we get in there, we'll get a bunch of quests and probably level up to 13. Oh no, we're all at 13. Level up to 14. You can investigate, adventurer. Off and away. I don't remember if Bingles is over by um, Nomragon. Oh no, that was something we had to retrieve for that guy, I think. Well, that. Well, I'm not sure now. I'll have to check it out. I really need a mount. Just running around is getting slow. much stuff on me right now. I really should sell some things. Uh, there's a shop right here. I also need ammo. What can I do for you? Alright, you can buy some of my things. Safe travels. 
We'll have to find the general goods vendor. I think they always have ammo. I love this view coming out of Iron Forge. Snow covered trees and mountains. It's awesome. Now, there are still a couple of quests in uh, and around Karanos that might be because I leveled and they became available, or maybe I just missed them. But I can go down and grab. That's a level 10. That's uh, going to be really green for us. This one is level 12, the yellow quest. Ah, uh, yeah, Ice Beard. Might as well try it. I'll have a, a bad weapon. I should upgrade that. I should have done it while I was up in Ironforge. But you know, as soon as I do that, I'm going to get a quest that rewards me with a weapon. So. Here's a pet trainer. Let's see what we can do. You've come for training in order to pass it on to your pets? Or he can learn great stamina and natural armor. Increases his armor by 100. That's good. Off with you. I don't suppose he's going to have any shot for me. No. Off with you. Buy it inside. The Thunder Brew Distillery. How are ya? See you soon. I should have stowed the linen cloth and leather that I had in my bags. Or should I just sell it? What do I need for, for my crafting? I know I'm a leather worker here, but I need leather. Yeah, leather, leather, leather. That I'm not going to sell the leather, but I'm afraid I'm going to sell the linen cloth, and then I'm going to need it for something. Leather ammo pouch. Didn't I make one of these yet? Small ammo pouch. Yeah, I think I, I, I crafted this one. Quiver. And light armor kits. I still have a bunch of those in my bag. Uh, do I have first aid? 
Because if I have first aid, then I could use the cloth to make bandages. Yep. stuck in here. And it must be warm because you don't see the breath coming out of her mouth anymore when she's inside the inn. It's toasty warm in here. me with 10 linen cloth. I think I have enough inventory space to do some missions and uh, do some quests and have enough space to be able to pick up things I need. That's the most annoying thing when I have to drop stuff because I need to pick up things and um, don't have room. And I'm too cheap to buy better bags. Through rigorous retraining, I have had to break many students of all they had previously learned so that I might teach them anew. The service I offer becomes increasingly difficult to perform each time it is done. It is for that reason that it becomes increasingly expensive with each retraining. Do you desire that I break you of the talents you mm -mm. have learned? I'm here for training. Oh, I can learn some things. Uh, wing clip is going to be important. Arcane shot rank 2. Distracting shot. What does this do again? Distracts the target, causing threat. Um, this could be helpful when my pet's about to die. Yeah, I'll learn that. Track humanoids. I don't know if I really need that. Mend pet? Okay. Hey, good. Oh, I just need to take a second to make sure these are on my hotbars. Uh... I really should have tame beast. Oh, I do. I have it there. Mend pet. Okay, here's my new arcane shot. This doesn't automatically replace the old one. Distracting shot. Go there. And I just need the wing clip. Put it right there. Um, I'm actually, I forgot, I was separating my melee attacks and my ranged attacks. So melee on top, ranged on the bottom. For now, anyway. Alright. So there was a quest back here. Maybe it was um, Razzle Sprysprocket has a quest. Oh, he's in this little house back here. situation, it would appear as though we not only failed to eradicate the trogs, but we also happened to turn most of the gnomish race into horrific, mindless, evil-doing leper gnomes. Ozzy and I plan to reverse the horrible leper effect with our latest invention, the recombobulator. The machine is almost complete, but we are in dire need of some restabilization cogs and gyro mechanic gears. Retrieve some from the leper gnomes out front of Gnome Regan for me. Okay. Alrighty then. <clears throat> thought there was another one. Uh, this one over here. 
is just going into the cave, I believe. So the leper gnomes are back this way. Maybe I'll maybe I'll wait till I get a level to do that. If I kill enough of these gnomes, maybe I'll get the level. And then at level 14, ice beard will be easier. I last time I did these quests wasn't too long ago with my season of discovery mage and he went in there and just turned him into he turned ice beard into a sheep and grabbed the thing and ran away that's not going to be possible here I'm gonna have to fight him I mean I could I guess I could send Ferndale in there to initiate combat and I wouldn't fire a shot, I'd just run past, grab the thing, and run out, if it allows me to do that in combat. If it, if it doesn't, I'll have to fight. If it does, it's just a question of whether Ferndale will be able to survive long enough for me to go in and grab the thing and get out. Love the footprints. I was just playing EverQuest 2. And I chose to play a barbarian berserker, so I'm tr I'm outside of Halas, and in the you know it's an area like this, covered in snow. You know, to be fair, I had all of my settings turned down because um, I was playing on my laptop and it wasn't plugged in, so I was trying to conserve my battery. So I turned everything down, turned like everything to minimal. Here's a cat, and I would love to have a cat as a pet. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I have too many pets already. Maybe it's because he's active? Where is he anyway? He, I don't even see my pet. He's not around. Do I have to do dismiss? I don't have a pet. Huh. Uh, do I have to go to the trainer? Or do I have to stable him? Maybe I have to put him in a stable? Oh, I'm going to call him. I'm going to dismiss him. Bye. No, I can't do that. He's a level 12 boar. What if I abandon him? Are you sure you want to permanently abandon your pet? Yeah, I want a cat. I want to see what a cat is like. And then I'll just kill easy mobs to level them up. Okay, Snow Leopard, I'm going to be your friend. I've got a lot of food in my bag. You can have it. Come on, be nice. See the hearts? Nice. Cat. Alright, well, he's very sad. First thing I'll do is feed him some ribs. Still really pissed. Maybe he doesn't like ribs? Well, that was tough jerky. These are the ribs. Well, he's getting happier. Alright, let's see how you can handle this. Go kill that boar. Oh, he's doing just fine.
Definitely doesn't keep aggro as well as Ferndale did. Maybe I need to kill things that are actually going to give me experience because he doesn't look like he's getting any. We'll try the leper gnomes. I'm just going to have to be real careful not to get any ads. Louis the fly. Oh, well, maybe that wasn't Louis Man. I think that was this fellow. Yost Man. Because I got intellect. I didn't get fortitude. one. That's green. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pull him first. I'm out of range. Right, get him away from the rest of those. Leper gnomes. Now you can attack. Go, go, go. My skill in swords increased. Oh, I forgot I learned swords and I'm using a new short sword, so this is probably a recipe for disaster. New pet, new weapon, with no skill. Now I have five in swords. my new melee skill. Give cat some more food. There's a level. Well, I don't know if that was that wasn't a level. I think he may have gotten happy. Because he was level seven, I thought. Alright, get right in there. Wow. Kinda miss Ferndale. Getting it done. Does it say whether or not the, uh, it's a he or a she? 
I'm gonna assume it's a she. Uh, I need a distracting shot because she's getting killed. See, that is helpful because now he comes right to me. I have men pet now I could use. So, uh, less downtime. Send her right in. Boy, the game totally changes as a hunter once you get your pet. Nice job. I'm going to have to start fighting with my sword. This is working out. She got another level. Level 8? Maybe she was level 6 when I tamed her. This is where it gets a little dicey on the road here. I'll leave that one for that priest. cat was in the yellow a second ago, but now it's green. Does she need help? She had two of them there. I'm keep, kind of keeping an eye out. I'll be alright. That's only a level 7. Spawn quick, huh? I need more mana. I'm going to get... I'm not sure if I can get to safety here. I'm surrounded by gnomes. Let me just drink some water. And then I'll blast my way out. Being out there up on the hill is a better place. This is, an, this is a nerve-wracking place. Now I'm getting a little frightened. See? She's got... <laughs> she had her mug and her sword all in the same hand. Thank <laughs> you. 
I like the sword. I mean, the axe was cool, but... Let's go this way. Wow, there's a bunch of them here. It's probably not. Maybe this way. We'll get rid of this guy. Wait a minute. Go ahead. And then I'll sneak past him. Oh, there's another guy down there, and there's another guy over here. Does five damage and reduces the enemy's tar uh, movement speed. <laughs> Run past them, slice them with the with the sword to. Slow him down and then run away and shoot him with a dot. I'll pull him out. Whoops. Level nine. Was that a level? I can't tell what, what happens. Does it tell you? Maybe in the combat log? Nope. My actions? What happened to me? General. I see my sword skill going up. And the cat has decayed strength. So, not as strong as normal. We shall not be deterred. <clears throat> I forgot about concussive shot. If the target's too far away from me to wing clip, I could hit it with that, and that slows it down too. The toolkit of a hunter is fantastic, but the skill ceiling goes up because you have more skills to use and you know you have to know the situation and when to use it and if there's one thing I can't stand in an MMO it's action bars stacked upon action bars and so many skills that's why EverQuest 2 is slightly turning me off again because of all of the bloat and skills that they have so what I do is I just try to replace skills instead of using them all which maybe is that's what it's meant maybe that's what you're meant to do sword skill 50 uh, I think I need one more gyro mechanic gear and then I'll be done with the quest 
pull this guy. Back in the in uh, the days of all original EverQuest when I played it in 1999, 2000, and, and so on, I played a ranger that always pulled in dungeons and uh, you know wherever we were, I was the puller, and that was so much fun. I'm not sure if that's a thing in World of Warcraft with hunters. It's probably the 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 warrior that's doing the pulling with his taunt or whatever. Actually, I don't even know if a warrior gets taunt till much much later, but. <clears throat> yeah, the pulling was a, a interesting part of EverQuest because you had to really be aware of your surroundings, you had to be careful of ads, you had to be in the right spot, pull to the right spot. Alright, this quest is done. Is there anything else around here I need? Nope. The one that I have to report... Oh, find Bingles. Ah, okay, he's in Lockmore Down. I know where he is. He's on, he's next to the lake. So let's hand this in. Did I not reset my bind stone? I didn't. That's in Goldshire. That doesn't help me. First thing I need to do here is reset to um, Karanos. And then... Ah, I knew it. And then on to Loch Modan. And there's an inn there that I can also bind to. With a flight trainer, I think. Yeah. I can't carry anymore. Alright, don't worry about it. I've got another, almost another stack of linen cloth again. And a bunch of other junk. This guy will buy some stuff. Well met. Well met. Oh, I was going to do this. Uh, this is Retrieve Tundra Magran's Dried Meats from the Stolen Meat Locker in Old Ice Beer's Cave. I have to go all the way around to get there, though. I think. I didn't level to 14, which is a shame. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to try it because I'm still leveling my weapon and my pet is not even level 10 yet. So let's not do that. I can stop to see the pet trainer and see if I could teach Cat any new skills. Uh, I need one, two, three, four, five more bars to level 14, and then I could learn new skills. I only have 40 silver, though. That's not going to be enough. I'm going to have to do some grinding for silver. Internal bag error. I've never seen that before.
that warrior left me with lots of leather scraps and some light leather. These gyro mechanic gears and restabilization cogs are in perfect accordance with Ozzy's schematics for the recombobulation device. Once I add some hydro lubricant to the inner combustion pistons, adjust the crank a ratchet and increase of the viscosity of the electrogum gel. The gnomish race will be as good as new. If you say so. Alright, these gloves are a little bit better than what I have. And then I'm gonna need to put some armor on them. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go back up to Iron Forge and train. In, um, well, not train. Uh, I'm going to put in an auction for a gun. And then I'm going to log off. So you won't miss much. I'm going to log off here and then continue on next time from Iron Forge. Or I may, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to continue from Iron Forge and then take the trip to Loch Modan and continue questing there. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're enjoying World of Warcraft if you're playing. Whether it be hardcore, season of discovery, classic, or retail, I enjoy them all. Until next time, bye.